So you bury your wife, and and the case gets set to the state attorney's office, and ultimately, like I said, uh, he is charged with uh, DUI manslaughter. They had all sorts of witnesses. They had uh, Largo PD was the one that, that investigated it, and they sent their traffic homicide investigator out to do it. Supposedly the senior investigator. Well, he was a senior investigator. Supposedly. You know, what, 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 I mean, he was the one that, that they touted that had the most experience. He was, he was a traffic homicide investigator. He's the one that had all that experience to, to do that. And um, he went out there to investigate. That's what I was told, too. You know, he came to the house and said the kid had 11 points on his license. They had him dead to rights and all that stuff, and he was going to jail. So that was the day of the accident. Mm -hmm. So I and, didn't really... And he, he went out there, and they did investigations, and they took measurements. They took marks. They did, they did everything that they could to, to investigate this case. And, um, and that was what, that's what their job is, to, to do that. And, um, and, 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 and he took uh, photos, and they went into the hospital and talked to the doctors. And really quick, when, he was, when that kid was released from the hospital, they yes. did not know he had taken ecstasy? They did not know. No. Okay.